this is crowdsourcing at its finest, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? <laughs> is that the first question? <laughs> it is not. But this is from Walls. Does the need to produce comics three times a week ever lead you to draw something you really didn't like? Any comics of yours you don't like? And any comics out there you really, really hate? Um, so I start kind of out like, mostly the ones that really frustrate me are ones where I have this idea, and I think it's awesome and hilarious, and I send it out, and I immediately start getting emails saying, like, you know, I, I didn't understand that, I, I don't see the joke. Maybe it's this, but that doesn't seem right, and that thing they said was actually the joke. <laughs> um, you know, like, oh, I'm familiar with this field, but it must be something esoteric that I haven't, you know, I don't understand, I need to look it up on Wikipedia, and they'd be like, I spent two days researching this, and I don't understand the joke, and I was like, no, it was just the penis joke at the beginning, I wasn't like, <laughs> um, one, one place where this happened was, I had a comic about, uh, about, about, puzzles and how some there are some logic puzzles that are very clever and you know very logical like there's the, the blue eyes puzzle that was on my site for a while Henry knows that one that, that really <laughs> depends on clever logic and then there are puzzles that depend on tricky wording where you have to figure out that what the person meant was not what they said it was some crazy interpretation of their words and so the, the, this was fairly early on I tried to draw a comic skewering this and it had the, the words ending in gry uh, it was a comic about that puzzle there are three words in the English language that end in gry that, Angry and hungry are two of what, what's the third? And then now, so I, I pulled up my building link dictionary, type, you know, grep star, dot star G R Y, uh, dollar sign, and, and it said, oh, there's agri, that's a word for a type of bead, or there's, um, and th there are a few others, but apparently that's not the answer. Um, the person, so there are a few obscure words that match it, but the person who told me this puzzle says, no, you know, it's, no, I said, there are three words in the English language. What are they? Or some, and the, the words are the English language, the English language. And I, and I say, well, that's a cop out. You know, that's, that's a ridiculous way. You know, that's communicating poorly for the sake of, um, you know, that's communicating poorly and then calling you the person clever when they don't, or calling yourself clever when the other person doesn't understand. So I drew a comic about this and I was like, ah, I really showed him. And then, <laughs> and then I got people saying, oh, you phrased the thing in your comic wrong because really it's supposed to be the English language and you didn't say it quite clearly enough or you didn't say it quite right. So, you know, you're right, but if that person had just, if the person in the comic who said it, you know, clumsily, as these people do, if they had just said it right, it would have made perfect sense, right? And I was like, no, that's the opposite of my point. <laughs> and so that was just one of those really frustrating ones, where it's like a lot of people liked it, but then a lot of people interpreted the opposite of what I meant. And, and it just makes it like, oh, I, should, I, I want to take it down and rewrite it, but they sadly can't do that. Uh, so that, that's been the main thing, is when I have a joke that makes sense to me in my head, and then I realize people read it completely a different way, uh, that's the most frustrating experience. Have you ever thought about anonymously posting some of your more crazy feedback? <laughs> 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 Would you guys like to see some of it? <laughs> well, <laughs> I do every now and then get people um, because I'll, I'll do comments about you know one area of this that I'm reading about or mirror science, and and they'll say, oh, I saw you write about this thing in this field. You must be an expert on that. Now, what actually happened was I read the first paragraph of the Wikipedia article <laughs> on that subject. You know, the part before you get to the the menu that shows where you know, the table line is. The paragraph above that, where they just explain what the thing is, and I'll go from there. You know, and I'll have a joke about that. But people think that I'm an expert on everything I've written about. Um, I, I had this girl who wrote in. Um, I, I hope she never hears it, you know, doesn't hear any of these interviews in the US. I don't say she is, but, but I, I think of her as a fist-sized ball of energy girl. It was, it was a really, she was really polite and it was really sweet. And she said, um, I was out hiking with my friend and, and then we saw the sun go past us really fast. And then there was this fist-sized ball of energy that went by and some items in our backpack were rearranged. Can you, you know about science, please explain this. <laughs> And, and then she was like, and P.S. we weren't on any drugs, I, I, I don't usually imagine this kind of, you know, I don't imagine this kind of, I don't know what, I don't know what happened. And, and so I was like, legitimately, well, like, uh, that's, that actually sucks, you've had this experience, and I can't explain it, and, I, and, and unfortunately, science cannot help you. <laughs> because, because you need some kind of phenomenon that you can make measurements of or have it repeatable, you know, you need to be able to go 
go out and have it happen again and say, okay, and, and you know, I, I, I try to you know, talk her through it. Here, here's, but you know, you might talk to the people who have been to that area, talk to the people who have similar stuff, maybe you'll find some little detail that you all have in common, and you know, who knows. But in general, there, there's nothing you can do scientifically to investigate this. Um, what I didn't say, what I really wanted to know was, how do you tell when a ball of energy is fist size? <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like, you know, like a little tiny ball, and she didn't say she could see it, they just felt it go past. So I'm not sure when it goes past, how you tell the difference between when it's grapefruit size and a ball of size or what. <laughs> but, but I have, I, I have a warm spot in my heart for that, and I hope she figures out what, uh, what was going on that day.